Hi there, it's Z here. So today I want to share a simple stock ranking and screening tool that I've built uh, that makes use of factor investing principles, uh, some web scraping techniques to get information from Yahoo Finance, and uh, some methodology around um, data normalization uh, in order to turn it into a uh, aggregated score. So um, the motivation for this is, uh, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I had an article and a video about um, finding the optimum portfolio weights for a given set of uh, stock counters in a portfolio. So uh, say if you have X number of stocks, you know how do you know how much to invest in each proportion um, for individual stocks? And uh, the thing that I never addressed in this article, however, is... Uh, how do you select which stocks to, to look at first? Because uh, typically, uh, there are hundreds upon thousands of stocks. Uh, how do you pick the um, short list of which ones you want to try and invest in? So uh, the, the way this uh, works is uh, it's built on the idea of factor investing that says that uh, you can basically pick winners from a long list of stocks uh, based on certain characteristics uh, that may be from financial statements or stock price behavior. So uh, I've written an entire article up on Medium, uh, so check it out. Uh, it goes into a lot more detail, but uh, this video will just sort of show you how it works. So uh, it's implemented in the free uh, web app tool that I've uh, put up on this address. And it's in a new section called uh, Multi-Factor Scoring and Ranking. And how it works is uh, if you have like a long list of uh, stocks, and I'm just going to do this, select everything here, copy, paste that in here. And uh, so you've got about 50 stocks uh, and you pick a normalization method uh, and you select which particular ratios you want and these ratios come from uh, Yahoo Finance so this information um, corresponds with uh, freely available information that you can get um, from Yahoo Finance as you can see so uh, it's a long list of uh, statistics and you just basically pick the few that you think represent um, performing stocks so uh, here we're just going to arbitrarily choose a few saying I want uh, stocks with high uh, PE ratios, let's say that's 30% uh, in terms of weightage, uh, stocks with high profit margin, let's say that's uh, another 30%, um, say return on equity, uh, let's say this is 20%, yeah, maybe, and uh, let's do debt equity and let's put this at lowest. And let's say this is 20%. And uh, you're going to make sure this stuff adds up to 100. And if you click uh, Show Simulation Results, it takes a little while because uh, it takes about one or two seconds for every single stop. So I'm going to hit pause on the video and come back when uh, the results have loaded. So the results look a little bit like this, where uh, this highlights the factors that you've selected out of all the possible factors in here and uh, whether you are prioritizing a lower or higher value. Most of the time it will be higher, but in some cases, like uh, debt to equity, you actually want lower debt, and the weights that you'll be using, and the method that uh, you use to sort of uh, add all these different factors up. So these are the unnormalized factors by stock counters, and uh, these are the ranked and scored counters where um, the numbers in these uh, initial columns represent the normalized uh, factor. So it's not the raw numbers, but uh, a normalized version of the, the numbers. And this is the composite score. That is the aggregate of uh, all these different numbers using whatever normalization method you've defined. And uh, based on this uh, score, we've ranked all the stocks uh, and here's some additional information that's not used in the scoring, but just put there just alongside for information, uh, including uh, stock returns. For
from uh, the current date against uh, uh, the date uh, a year ago so you can get the annual stock price returns and the logic here is that uh, if this scoring scheme works then you should find that the top quartile uh, stocks so if you're going to take all the stocks that were in here 50 divided by 4 uh, those that uh, ranked up at the top quartile should have a average or higher score than all those other quartiles and uh, that's represented by this chart where you can see that uh, the top quartile has a uh, slightly higher than uh, the second quartile definitely better than third and fourth uh, and this is correlation between the composite score and the stock returns uh, and this is just the information um, from before and uh, you can play around with this because uh, it's just a web app. So if you want, you can also change the uh, normalization method. So here's another example where the normalization method is different. And uh, you can go around and just check to see whether or not it's the same set of uh, rankings or whether the rankings change dramatically. So you can see uh, rankings have changed. This was at the top, now somewhere, sort of second quartile. Uh, but in this one, uh, maybe the uh, factors and the weights uh, need to be adjusted because clearly uh, this one makes a bit uh, less sense because the top quartile uh, which should be higher somehow ends up being lower so um, anyway uh, you can play around with this for yourself uh, and if you prefer to actually work with code I actually have a uh, Google Colab uh, workbook that I've put up as well. So this is the uh, code that runs the uh, scheme that you saw a moment ago and uh, I've tried to annotate it and uh, you can play around with it yourself if you uh, want to have more fine control over uh, what you can and can't do in the code. Um, and yeah, I I've got a whole article on um, how I built this as well. So. Uh, hopefully this is uh, something that uh, you find interesting and if you're just starting in uh, factor investing then uh, this may be a good place to sort of uh, just get an intuition about uh, how this works so uh, I think that's about it uh, thanks till next time